Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hamlin, Head of New Partnerships with Contact Point 360. Welcome to my series, Energy 360, where I provide implementable customer service insights for the energy sector. Today's subject is on quality as a service, a process that marries technology with best practices to ensure a consistent and positive customer experience. Winning and keeping customers in the deregulated energy space rests heavily on two key factors. An energy company's ability to control costs and offer competitive rates, and offering top-notch end-to-end customer experience. Today, I'm going to talk about the customer experience side of things, and more specifically, the role that quality as a service plays in that. The fast-evolving landscape of speech analytics technology, fueled by advanced AI and machine learning, has raised the bar on customer care expectations. Energy companies are currently facing challenging times with account delinquencies. Many in the industry are predicting this trend to continue longer than the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009. The relationship between accounts receivable and customer service is intricately linked. In my episode on collections during COVID, I referred to a recent study that suggested that innovative approaches be considered to improve customer strategies and customer services. This is where quality as a service comes into play. Quality as a service is a cloud-based scoring platform that utilizes a combination of human scoring and AI-based monitoring to allow for oversight of up to 100% of customer interactions. Traditional QA only reviews 1-2% to of interactions and extrapolates data across the entire customer base. This is nowhere near what is required to develop predictive strategies. Having an objective third party conduct the quality as a service oversight reduces costs and assures companies are getting the most accurate, unbiased and insightful data on customer experience efforts. Agents also receive a constant feedback loop that provides constructive suggestions on how to improve customer communications and remain compliant with regulations across multiple states. Energy companies that are utilizing quality as a service will have the foresight to be proactive versus reactive to both the larger challenges and the smaller nuanced complexities. It's not about being able to predict the future, it's about becoming more resilient and adaptable to change. Now more than ever, retention and attrition rates rest on providing the best possible customer experience. I'm Wendy Hanlon. Thank you for listening. Tune in for the next episode of Energy 360.